in this video we'll see the important points for the day 1 of our 15 days timetable to see the 15 days timetable you can check out the link given in the description so for day 1 uh, because it's a sunday we have 12 hours of preparation on the other days we have 6 uh, hours of preparation these are the topics for the day 1 and the important points which i have mentioned for these topics whenever you are studying uh, the mcqs the 15 mcqs for 1 hour when you are going through the mcq make sure you cover the mcqs along with the uh, points from each and every topic that is before closing one topic you should have at least uh, gone through these points and at least you should be aware of what these things are so under developmental disturbances uh, you should know about fusion germination twinning the difference between a germination and a twinning and the difference between fusion and a twinning concrescence a pierre robin syndrome or pierre robin sequence the features the classical three features of them natal and neonatal teeth the difference between both of them a uh, turner's hypoplasia and what is the difference between a uh, uh, enamel hypoplasia a generalized enamel hypoplasia and a turner's hypoplasia and uh, what is molar incisal hypoplasia then you should know about ghost teeth the other name for it is regional odontodysplasia just knowing the name alone is more than sufficient then about dentinogenesis imperfecta the types of dentinogenesis imperfecta a fordyce spot gardner syndrome and pure sugar syndrome the difference between uh, the polyposis in uh, gardner syndrome and the polyposis in pure sugar syndrome then about bonds nodule epstein pearl dental lamina cyst of newborn the difference between the location of each under uh, bonds nodule and epstein pearl then about torodontism the classification of torodontism and uh, the syndrome associated with it klein filter syndrome is associated with torodontism uh, just the name alone is enough then cleidocranial dysplasia the classical uh, extra oral features of cleidocranial dysplasia and the classical opg finding for it then uh, congenital syphilis we should mainly know about uh, hutchinson's triad which consists of three classical features mulberry molar and hutchinson incisor uh, then uh, shell teeth thistle tube appearance of pulp which is seen in uh, dentin dysplasia uh, talon's cusp along with that the syndrome associated with talon's cusp but there are three syndromes associated with it of which rubinstein tabby syndrome is very important then uh, treacher colon syndrome uh, the very classical three or four findings of treacher colon syndrome is enough like mandibulo uh, uh, malar uh, prominence will be lacking uh, the patient will have a typical antimongoloid slant so all those very classical features alone if you read for very important syndromes that is enough so important syndromes include crozan syndrome treacher colon syndrome gardner syndrome pure checker syndrome uh, pure robin syndrome and here and there if any uh, other syndromes whenever you are studying uh, different topics during that time if you come across a syndrome just two or three classical findings for each syndrome is more than enough then about brittle bone disease or otherwise called as osteogenesis imperfecta so these are the uh, must know points from de developmental disturbances topic so at least go through all these things just uh, be aware what these points are and go through mcqs accordingly cover mcqs under these topics next is radiation physics under radiation physics you should know about uh, inverse square law uh, the ca the constituents of cathode anode uh, the entire x ray tube uh, what is a tungsten rod tungsten filament the copper stem of molybdenum focusing cup everything you should know then about uh, line focus principle what is a focal spot and what is actual focal spot and the measurement of both uh, what is filtration collimation heel effect uh, the properties of tungsten is very important then about contrast density sharpness and fog so how you increase or decrease the sharpness of an image how you increase decrease the density of image uh, how you increase decrease the contrast and what is a fog so to know how to increase decrease sharpness you should be aware of what is uh, milliampere and what is kvp just a little bit of basics under that is enough 
next the vitamins topic so under vitamins you should know what comes under fat soluble vitamin what comes under water soluble vitamin uh, what vitamin is responsible for pernicious anemia vitamin k dependent clotting factors then almost all the vitamin deficiency are very important uh, the vitamin uh, name and the deficiency associated with it and uh, actions of vitamin d is important then uh, beriberi wernicke korsakoff syndrome both of them uh, they are associated with what particular vitamin deficiency and also uh, pellagra pellagra is caused by niacin deficiency it has three classical features dementia dermatitis uh, so uh, these are the very important points for vitamins but apart from that entire vitamins topic itself is very very important definitely at least one or two mcq will come so make sure you cover the entire topic if you don't have time at all or if you're just brushing through make sure you cover these points next is dental cements under dental cements you should be aware of all the dental cements name then uh, the liners and bases difference between them uh, from the thickness point of view uh, what is the remaining dentin thickness and what is it uh, gic composition setting of gic the types of gic what is the varnish and function of a varnish the types of bonds in different cements the chemical bond mechanical bond or mechanochemical bond micromechanical like that then uh, zinc oxide eugenol cement and its application the replacement for eugenol which is ortho ethoxy benzoic acid next is amalgam so under amalgam you should know about the types of uh, alloy for amalgam the composition of each Uh, what is single composition alloy what is low copper high copper alloy the percentage of copper content for low copper high copper then the different phases of amalgam and what is a delayed expansion uh, the difference between an electrochemical corrosion galvanic corrosion the ko surface margin for amalgam uh, the different types of retentive pins and coves in amalgam the type of cavity preparation for amalgam then uh, creep belby layer which is a layer formed after polishing of amalgam then what is the polishing agent used for amalgam then lastly just a little bit of awareness about threaded mate system that is tms pins used for amalgam next topic is anatomy of pulp cavity so under anatomy of pulp cavity you should know about the total number of roots and the root canals associated for all the teeth and of which you should mainly know about maxillary first molar mandibular first molar uh, maxillary first and second premolar and mandibular first and second premolar the number of roots and the number of canal slightly varies here and there so you should be very well aware of that then uh, what is a major diameter what is a minor diameter and what is the radiographic apex next topic is diseases of pulp and periapical tissues so under that you should know the sequelae of pulpitis what happens then uh, internal resorption of tooth the other name for it is pink tooth of mammary and what is a phoenix abscess pulp polyp or other name is chronic hyperplastic pulpitis what is an anchoritic pulpitis then the difference between a reversible and irreversible pulpitis the classical clinical findings for them then uh, what is a delta fiber and what is c fiber and for uh, what type of uh, pain or sensation a delta fiber is responsible and what type of pain and sensation c fiber is responsible it is very important then about fish zone of reaction you have four zones you should know about the zones and what are the types of cell present in each zone and lastly about pulp stone next topic is traumatology so under traumatology you should know about ellis and davy classification especially you should know about uh, class 9 uh, of ellis and davy it is a fracture of primary tooth so never ever make a mistake even if the fracture is involving enamel then pin pulp or whichever level it is when it is involving primary tooth all together it comes under class 9 so don't make that mistake then uh, you should know about direct and indirect pulp capping Uh, how do you manage an avulsed tooth if it is less than 1 hour the management is different if it is more than 1 hour the management is different what are the carrying media for avulsed tooth what is hangst balance salt solution the composition of that then uh, the fracture of tooth and prognosis of them so if the fracture is at the cervical level of root there is a prognosis if it is at the middle third there is a different prognosis and if it is an apical third there is a different prognosis so usually the prognosis of tooth is good when the fracture is at the apical level the prognosis is moderate if the fracture is at the middle third of the root but the prognosis is bad if the fracture of the root is at the cervical third of the root the reason for that is 
when the fracture is at cervical to uh, third of the two then uh, the infection is very easy so the prognosis will be very bad for such tooth so this is one important concept for mcq then you should know about luxated tooth and the duration of splinting for the different types of luxation next topic is pediatric endo so under pediatric endo again a little bit of traumatology will be covered once again then you should know about apexification apexogenesis the difference between them what is the pulp revascularization so what are agents you will be using for pulp revascularization the latest methods include the usage of prp which is platelet rich plasma and prf platelet rich fibrin so what is that and you will be using in pulp revascularization so at least two or three lines of knowledge if you know about prp prf and pulp revascularization it is enough then uh, what is an obturation material used for primary tooth how is it different from the obturation material for permanent tooth what are the features of them and uh, what is the metapex and calcium hydroxide then stainless steel crown next topic is deciduous dentition so under deciduous dentition topic you should know about the chronology of them uh, the calcification timing and the eruption uh, timing then uh, physiological spacing what is it what is in simian space or anthropoid space then what is the leeway space of nans and what are the different types of terminal planes you have mesial step distal step and the flush terminal plane what is it and what is the basis uh, on which you assess the mesial step and the distal step and what will be the prediction of the permanent uh, dentition occlusion based on the mesial step distal step and the flush terminal planes and about mammalon the last topic is permanent dentition so under permanent dentition you should cover about Uh, the different types of tooth numbering system uh, what is the cusp of carabelli uh, the difference between oblique ridge and transverse ridge and which tooth it is present uh, the acute angle and obtuse angled cusp so in a tooth which all cusps are called as acute angled cusp and what all cusps are called as obtuse angled cusp and how do you find them out the molar relation developmental lobes uh, what is the corner stone and what is the corner teeth and uh, about mesial marginal developmental groove and mesial lingual developmental groove just the location of the groove developmental grooves in the tooth is enough these two are very very important the mesial marginal developmental groove which is present in maxillary premolar whereas mesial lingual developmental groove is present in mandibular premolar thank you all